Hello everyone, my name is Fuzin Kuden, and welcome back to Fuzin Place Cthulhu Saves the World. Up here we have some dorky looking people. Hmm, Omen. What's that on the horizon? I am Eleanor. On behalf of the Earth, we will fight wrong and triumph over evil, and that means you. Switchblades. Switchblades the name. I'm here to steal from, from the wicked and give to the just. I'm Dash the Daring. My courage is only rivaled by my good looks. Could you be any more freaking generic? I will beat the shit out of you because you are generic. We are the three heroes of godly justice. Dark Fiend Cthulhu, we will defeat you and restore the light to the world. You're a Dark Fiend? You should have told me. That's so sexy. I see. You've used your vile magic to ensnare the beautiful maiden. That beautiful maiden. Release her. Pzzzy. If I was using my magic to ensnare someone, I would have picked someone much hotter. Hey. Yo, narrator, do I get hero point- Wait, yo, narrator, do I get hero points for defeating annoying heroes? No. Well, I'm going to beat them up anyway. Virtue always triumphs over evil. We are sure to win. Your, friends your friend over there doesn't look too victor victorious be hiding behind that cloak and all. I have a skin condition. Leave me alone. Mwah, puny humans, even with my powers locked away, I have more than enough power to deal with you. Prepare to be defeated. Alright, a cleric, a hero, and a thief approaches. This sounds like a bad joke. Round one, begin monsters at normal strength. Okay. Well, if I know anything about fi fighting... The cleric would be the most vulnerable and normally would be my first choice. Hero would be the strongest, but hmm, very susceptible to peer pressure, is having trouble adjusting to 16-bit, keeps his daggers in his boots. Let's use that. Magic, flood. 12 damage, okay. Uh, this battle I'm going to put in because it is supposed to be the first quote-unquote boss battle, I'm guessing. The cleric has more resistance to magic. Madness! 30 damage points for hero. The hero is insane. Here's all. One hit. Okay, so... Let's try that. Call the Kraken. Wow, they're hurting Cthulhu pretty bad. The cleric heals. Okay. We'll use Insanity Blow against the Cleric, because I don't think Insanity helps Clerics at all. And, uh, I'll use a Potion on... Huh. There we go. 48 damage points for the Cleric. The Cleric is insane. And the Cleric is now dead. That was probably the one I feared the second most next to the Hero. So, hold on a minute. Now, if I death blowed either of these guys, it would probably hurt them real bad. Siren Call and Blind Strike. We'll blind the hero. Uni performs Blind Strike. One hit, 54 damage. The hero is blind. The hero attacks and misses. <laughs> and the thief is now defeated. Good Kraken! He's already insane, so let's just bash him. <laughs> yes! Motherfucker's dead! I beat up a bunch of dorky looking heroes! I'm happy! All enemies have been defeated! I and all allies regain full HP and 2 MP. You gain 26 XP and 36 gold. Cthulhu's leveled up. Choose your bonus. Fireball or Fire Strike? I like Fire Strike. Cthulhu 1, lame hero 0. I hope they're okay. 
they're adventurers. I wouldn't worry about it. They probably already respawned at the nearest church. I wonder if we'll meet them again. Probably. Enough contemplation. Onward to heroism! Pretty simple. So, we're just gonna plow straight through. Remembering to follow the torches. Do 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 do. It is kinda nice to have a water mage in Cthulhu. I think that's a good starting thing, cause well, who else would be down by the water? Well, that was uneventful, and a little painful, but mostly uneventful. I thought I turned off the commentary. Apparently. Let's see where this leads. Do do do, just marching through, hopefully getting to the first town. So Aha! An iron sword. Equip. Why are people leaving these implements all over the place? Who leaves an iron sword just out in a chest? A very dumb knight. It's a lot of walking and a lot of uh, small spurts of nothing. Hmm. Actually, it did say earlier there was a chat function. Is that a live starfish in your hair? Yes, her name is Pinta. Isn't she cute? A live starfish in your hair? And people think I'm disgusting. Obviously, Cthulhu knows something we don't. My voodoo is righteous. Well, look at this. We've leveled up in that last fight. So her HP and MP goes up, and I can choose up my level up bonus. Uh, alignment combat, zero MP, passive ability, combat count. And I can just bring her strength up by 40. I like that passive. Mainly going for kind of a magey build with this girl to kind of offset Cthulhu's just flat out tank nature. I really like the directional cues with the torches. Makes things a lot more bearable. Ooh. MP restored. Yes, please. Let's save the game. And just keep on rolling. I was curious about this one. As our adventurers cross the long bridge leading to Megastan, look at the ocean! A strange beast jumps out from the ocean, hurling itself towards Cthulhu and Uman. Looks like a star terror ha haven't seen one of those since my days on Riggy XLIV. Time to prove yourself, groupie. What about all those battles we fought up to get to this point? Mere child's play. Now show me what you got. A star terror approaches. Well, looks like another full bore boss fight. 
We'll call the Kraken. Um. Yeah, just gonna be a lot of bombardment. But damn, that thing looks... Not terrifying, but a little stupid. Since Cthulhu is basically the tank. Keep the tank alive! That thing's got a lot of HP. Okay, Cthulhu performs insane strike ball. Blah, blah. Cast star heal. Okay. Uh, let's try Siren's Call. Okay. Luckily, heals take priority over everything else the enemy does. Now, if I have enough MP, I'm gonna use a Death Blow on it. Doesn't lose tentacles as you heard it. Oh! Well, um... That's one way to do it! I'm not really paying attention, I'm just tapping buttons. Cthulhu leveled up! Choose your level bonus. 30 plus to agility, or vitality and will. Hmm. If we're going by conventional MM oh, um, RPG logic, not MMO. Agility would just make him easy, harder to hit. We'll go by Vitality and Will. Huff, huff, huff. Not bad. Guess you're not as useless as I suspected. Yay, I'm not useless. Hey, wait a second. I feel bad for the Star Terror, though. It reminded me of my pet starfish. You know, you know, you know, if instead of being a little and cute friend, it was huge, terrifying monstrosity. Don't kid yourself, Unin. If that Star Terror ever got a chance, he'd eat you and everyone you care about. Well, obviously, I'm not stupid. I still feel sorry for it, though. Well, with the end of that boss fight, I guess we'll proceed to the next town and the next part. So I'd like to thank you all very, very much for watching. Please tune in next time for more Foos and Plays. Cthulhu Saves the World. If you like this video, give it a like. If you really liked it, don't hesitate to subscribe. And see you all here next time.